This is Task Spoon, the series where I try to complete the collection log one random task at a time. After completing all the easy tasks, I'm ready to move on to longer and harder challenges as I attempt to conquer the medium tier. Welcome to Season 2 of Task Spoon. Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 39 of the Taspoon series. In the last video we did a bunch of achievement diaries, and a bunch of other stuff like Lumberjack Top and some ancient pages, and then we rolled a task to get the herb sack, which is actually really good and really useful for the account. Whoa, that was weird like. Um, yeah, I was just chopping some logs while I was editing the last video, and we can just go and get right into it. Last time we were here getting the seed box, we actually got to 74 farming, which means we can use the top tier of seeds, which is very, very nice. Uh, it doesn't actually increase how quickly I can do the task, but it will greatly increase my XP per hour. It's like over double, uh, so that's good. I don't know how much of this task I'm going to show because I've done a lot of Tithe Farm on the series already, and I think you get it. So I'm just going to start, and we'll see where we go from there. So the herb sack costs 250 points, and as you can see here, I have 19 left over from the last time, because every time you do a full round, you get 26 points, and everything that you buy is in a multiple of 25, so you sort of accumulate extra points, but that means that I'll need to do 9 rounds of 100 fruit in order to get the 250 points to buy the herb sack, and this is the first one. Nice. And batch number two. Oh, I actually just hit 75 farming, which lets me plant my magic seeds, which I believe I have a few of. So that should be a nice little boost of farming XP next time I need to do that. And number three. Number four. And number five. And this is going to be a nice 6 out of 9. Uh, it's also going to get me 76 farming, which lets me plant all of the uh, Hespori seeds. And yeah, that's not super useful for me, but it is nice. All right. After not being able to play for a little while there, you know, it's the holidays and I got stuff to do and it just snowed like three feet over the last 24 hours. So I've been shoveling and whatnot, but this is going to be 700 out of 900. Two more rounds to go. Oh no, my power is flickering and I'm on the last round of fruit. I hope I don't disconnect. Like I mentioned before, uh, we've had a lot of snow recently, and my phone keeps giving me warnings about an arctic storm, outflow, high winds, lots of snow, everyone's gonna die, I don't know. Uh, so I'm really trying to get these tasks done, I'm already a bit behind, and I don't have a lot of content recorded, so I'm trying my best. Also, I forgot to record the 8th round, but this is it, 9 out of 9. We're done! Let's go buy the thing. Alright, talk to farmer guy. Herb sack. Nice. Like I mentioned before, this is actually a really big unlock. It's gonna be very useful for Slayer. And even things like Herbivore and other stuff like that. So, this is awesome. Uh, very happy to get that. And let's get a new task. Here we go. Herb sack completed. Let's see what we gotta do next. Hopefully something quicker. One unique or no restaurant. Okay, sure. If we take a look at the collection log, all I have is the gnome scarf, so I can still get the other three. And I got that in 24 deliveries. And if we look at my reward token, I have six items out of ten. Which means that soon I'll be able to skip all of the people that don't drop the uniques that I need. But for now, I need to do all of them, so it'll take a little bit longer. And yeah, we're just going to get started. Alright, delivery number one of the task for some opals. 
I realize now that there's no point in me showing you all the deliveries to people that have no chance to give me the uniques, uh, like this guy. Uh, nine sapphires, though, that's pretty nice. But yeah, from now on, I'm only going to show the deliveries from the people that can actually give me the items. I came all the way to the top of this gosh darn mountain for you, Bram Brickle. You can at least give me a unique. Okay, he didn't. Wait, you can get gout weed from this guy? Interesting. So, I believe now I have 10 points on my reward token, so I can just try and get a job. Uh, hard worker, holiday, click tokens, course, blah, 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 blah. I think now I can just do the delivery and, or get a delivery, and if it's not the one that I want, or one of the ones that I want, I can just say, no, I don't want to do that, and get a new one, I believe. Um... I don't know. Let me figure this out. Okay, so I think as long as I just... So, Captain Clem... Whatever that is, is not one of the ones that I want. So, if I just say, get a new job. Uh, yes, delivering is fun. Give me a hard one. And then this should be different. Captain Dalbert. Yeah, so I can just do this until I get one of the people that I want. And then only deliver to them. And that'll greatly increase the speed I can do this task. Because... Uh, of all those deliveries, actually, I think I can check. I started at 24, and I am now at 40. So of those 16 deliveries that I just did, I literally only had the one chance at uh, an item. So this should greatly increase how quickly I can do this task, which is nice. Uh, and yeah, I'll show you all the deliveries from now on. Okay, attempt number one here. Give me something, Ninto. That's some emeralds. That's not useful. Actually, those are useful, now that I think about it. I'm actually running out of dueling rings, so that's not the worst, but not what I'm looking for. Well, this guy's still a pain in the ass to get to, but he does give me two of the three possible uniques, so hopefully it's worth it. It wasn't worth it. Technically, this guy can give the Grand Seed Pods, although it's the only thing he can give, uh, so I don't have high hopes for this, but figured I'd go here anyway. <laughs> and of course, it'd be the one that gives it to me. <laughs> Alright, while well, we're done, that's nice. Let's get something new to do. Somehow, I just knew right when I started saying that sentence that that would be the one that actually gave it to me. It's just, it's, uh, RuneScape has a way of just knowing. All right, what are we doing? Five new uniques from Hard Clues. Great. So this is actually the first time I'm doing a Hard Clue task in the medium tier. Uh, as you can see here, 10 uniques, all from the easy tier. Uh, yeah, lots of items left, so that shouldn't really be a problem uh, getting dupes. But that does mean that I have to go and get some Hard Clues, which... Uh, I do have some runes, so I'll start doing some bursting at the jellies again, probably. And I do have some money, so I can buy more runes, but this might be a long task. This will probably be the last task of the video, if I had to guess, just based on how long these tasks have taken previously. Uh, but I believe... Do I have any hard caskets? I do. I have two hard caskets, so why don't we open those right now, and we'll see what we get from these. Okay, a good old nothing. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the jellies. Actually, before we go back to the jellies, I do have one hard clue already in the bank, so we'll go and do that first. But I think I'm going to do what I do with my other clue tasks, where I get them in bunches of however many uniques I have left in the tasks. I'll get that many caskets and then open them all at once. That way you don't have 100 clips of me going, oh, casket, oh, nothing. Uh, yeah, let's go do this clue and get started. I actually have a stole and a rune heraldic shield somehow, so I can actually do this clue for once. So that's nice. Oh, and there's the casket. Uh, I think I'm just going to open this one right away, and then we'll go and get five from jellies and start doing the thing that I said I would do. But let's just rip this one open and see what we get. Alright, we got nothing. Who would leave such a fine pair of slippers just sitting on the ground? The travesty.
uh, I just got attacked by someone at the wilderness lever with claws of gothics. Oh. <laughs> that makes more sense. I, I was so confused. <laughs> I know that I said I was going to get bunches of caskets and open them in groups, but after how long it took me to get that one, I just kind of want to open it. And that's shared. Uh, too bad. I just got a fletching level making iron darts to throw at jellies. <laughs> For Christmas, I would love if Jagex made it so the jellies wouldn't walk up into the lesser demon area and make it really hard to get them out. For Christmas, I would also love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Do it now. Okay, thank you. And I'm here with another casket. Uh, that's not good. Okay. I saw the pop-up, which I was like, oh, maybe that's a unique and a shared unique with the teleports. And then there's a page that I already have. And then there was nothing of value. That was terrible. Getting this task now is actually pretty nice. Uh, it all but guarantees that I'll have 83 magic by the time I get my first Barrow's task, which means I can make Barrow's tabs and use those, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And would you look at that, another casket. Let me just put a couple things away in the bank. And let's go ahead and open it. Sad. Welcome to my Adamant Battle Axe Emporium. Everyone that subscribes gets a free Adamant Battle Axe. And we got another casket. Let me get to a bank. Okay, here we go. I am hoping for just one unique game. Sad. Ooh, 86 health and 1700 total. Nice. And almost immediately after, there's that 83 magic that I was talking about. Very nice level. Uh, yeah. Still no luck with the clues, but good levels. That's a beautiful sight. A rune kite shield, a clue scroll, an Addy battle axe, a sapphire, some runes. Nice. Oh my goodness. I've had this step three times in this one clue, and the first time I got it, I was like, ah, that's annoying, but whatever, I'll go do it. Went and did it. Did another step. Got it again, and I was like, damn, two times in one clue? That really sucks. This clue's so far out of the way. I'm gonna make a clip about it, and then I forgot and didn't record anything. And now I got it a third time! Why does this game hate me? Well, this might be it, boys. I don't know. No, unless he splashes. We're gaming? Okay, not quite. We're gaming, boys! And I got myself a casket from that clue that I definitely didn't almost die on. Uh, let's uh, put in that bank pin, put these away, and let's open it. Sad. Oh! Well, that's not exactly what I was expecting, but cool! Shield left half. We'll take it. Surely this casket will have something for me, though. Okay, never mind. I forgot my anti-dragon shield. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Hey, I got a casket. Alright, let's see what I got. Sad. I decided to come to Temple Spiders to test my luck. The clue rate is a bit worse, but they have a lot less health and they die very quickly. And I actually got a clue really fast, so I'm very happy with that. I realized that I don't actually have a Mage Arena cape yet, and because it's a mini quest and not on the collection log, I can do it whenever I want, and it'll be really nice for the rest of the hard clue grind, considering I'm bursting all of them. Uh, so here I am in the Mage Arena, but I'm on Ancients, so I'm Smoke Rushing? I think the spell's called Smoke Rush? Uh, the, the guy, I don't know. I don't know, man. How did I get here? Well, I have no proof of this, but I'm going to baselessly claim that I'm the first person to ever kill Collodion with Smoke Rush. Well, this is really sad. 
This is one of the very few hard clues left that I can't do because I need rune boots, which are from Necreals, which are 80 Slayer. And that would take way too long to get to justify for this clue. So, very sad. And would you look at that. Got ourselves another casket. Uh, I'm currently recording this on Christmas Day, so it would be a nice little Christmas present to get my first unique of the task. That's a dupe unique. I'm very sad. How am I going to have uh, 10 out of 134... And I got a dupe zombie head. Oh, Jesus. Another casket acquired. Let me get out of the wilderness before we open this. I just went back and checked, and this is actually going to be casket number 12 for the video. Still no unique, so really hoping for at least one here. Sad. Another shield left half. Okay, I need to stop her flicking because I'm lagging, but what the heck? Just to be clear, the shield left half is a 1 in 7,800 drop from Warp Jellies. And I've gotten two of them doing this one task. Meanwhile, I've only gotten... I guess I've done 12 clues now and I had to drop one. So I've gotten 13 clue drops, which are 1 in 64. What? Okay, surely this casket is going to have a unique in it. Hey! Nice! A unique. I don't think these are useful because Barrow's Gloves are better, but... One out of five. Generally, I don't like doing this, but I think I'm actually going to end the episode there. Usually, I like to end after I finish a task and I can roll a new one and get you guys excited for the next episode. But I've already done a few more clues and this task is going to take a while. So in the interest of keeping the videos at a watchable length and getting this video out in a reasonable time, I think that's going to be it. And a big shout out to all my members. Uh, especially Alchemist, the only tier 3 so far, but thank you, appreciate you all. Uh, make sure that you've liked the video and subscribed if you liked the video and want to see more. And with that being said, see you next time.